Hey y'all, it's Chloe and we're back with another Married at First Sight Season 10 Episode 14 Review. You guys, we are almost at Decision Day. <laughs> y'all, when I say that this reality, this is reality TV at its best, this is that, okay? I was so freaking entertained that I forgot that we were here to be like, find love, okay? The whole episode had me like, what is going on? What? what what's going on but before we get into this interview i need you guys to press that subscribe button did you press it all right press that subscribe button okay now we can get into the review listen 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 i don't even know if i want to do this review the same way like i always do my reviews because i have so many thoughts and so much to get into in this episode I don't know where to start, okay? Let's just try and go through this how we usually do. Usually we go through this how the episode went. But I don't know if that's how this, this is going to turn out, but we're going to try. We're going to try, okay? Because I got a lot to say, y'all. It's eating me up inside, okay? I got parts I want to get to, I want to rush through and get through. So I don't know. Let's just start, okay? okay? And we are one week away from decision day. You guys, does this mean that we got like one more week and then, like, after this week, we're going to be at Decision Day. And then after that week, we're going to be at the reunion. Like, is that what we're doing? Because I got a feeling we probably got, like, three or four more episodes left. And this season seemed drawn out as hell. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, let's go. Okay, so we get Katie and we get Derek inside of a car. And they're driving to the couple's retreat. Because, you guys, every year we have a couple's retreat. And... This time is no different. So they're driving to the couple's retreat or whatever. And Katie is just looking at Derek so disgustingly. And I'm trying to figure out, like, why, Katie? Why are you working up the drama that you're about to start, okay? I see it in her face. It's like all in her face. She's ready to just get it out, okay? But, ugh. Katie, Katie, Katie works my nerve, okay? I am convinced that this season, the girls are crazy. The guys are crazy. Everybody is crazy, okay? Katie is mad at Derek, okay? She's mad at Derek about a poem that he wrote when he was in high school, okay? And he's mad that he never wrote a poem about her or expressed his feelings the way he did in that poem about his wife of seven weeks, Seven weeks. She expected to get the love poem of the century. In seven weeks. Katie, shut up. Shut up. Like, I just want to just shut up. She don't get it. She's stupid, okay? She just keeps going and going. I'm just like, you this girl know how to suck the air out of a room. She just does. It drives me freaking crazy. But anyway, something happened while they were in the car. They were talking. I don't know, y'all. I got past it. I couldn't I couldn't deal with it because she annoys the crap out of me. But anyway, they get to this house, okay? They get to the cabin. And it's a beautiful cabin. It's nice. It's big. It's six rooms. They're excited. Oh, my God. Look at the rooms. Look at the rooms. Look at the rooms. Look at the rooms. Look at the house. Look at the house. Look at the house. Look at the house. Cool. <clears throat> they pick their room. And I'm just like, okay, they pick their room. That's nice. And then you get over to... um. Jessica and Austin, okay? And Jessica and Austin get to the house, okay? And when they get in the house, they run into Katie and Derek, of course. And they're like, give us a tour of the house. Give us a tour of the house. The whole time they're giving them a tour of the house, the only thing that's bothering Austin, okay? The only thing that Austin can focus on is the fact that he has to carry the crock pot that Jessica wanted to bring. Because who brings a crock pot to a couple's retreat? Jessica is who? <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I was like, wait, <sighs> this is what we have to deal with with Jessica Austin. Like, they have to find something to make them entertaining, and the crock pot was it. Because I was like, why are we making this crock pot thing? We, 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 we doing this? This is, this is what we're doing? Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> Brandon. Okay, y'all, before I even get into it, let me just tell y'all, y'all know how I feel about Taylor, okay? Y'all know how I feel about Taylor, so let me just brace myself before I get into this. Brandon is on his selfie phone, okay? And Brandon is on his selfie phone, and he is 
pissed, okay? He's trying to figure out why his wife, Taylor, went to a hotel party with her friends, fell asleep at the hotel party, woke up the next day, text him, I'm sorry, I fell asleep, and had the nerve to still not be home <laughs> when she was texting him in the morning. Wait, what? Wait, what? I don't understand this girl. This girl drives me insane. I don't understand her thought process. I don't understand why she thought it was a good idea to go to a hotel party or not a hotel party. According to Brandon, it's a hotel party and we don't know who was at this hotel party. We don't know if it was guys there. We don't know if it was girls there. We don't know if it was girls and guys because Taylor did not communicate any of that to Brandon. At this point, Brandon is over it, okay? He's tired of looking stupid and she's making him look stupid. Brandon, leave that girl alone. Leave the girl alone. I think I need to tell Brandon to let it go. I think if I tell Brandon to let it go a few more times like we had to get through to Mindy, I think, I think he'll get it. Brandon, let it go. But anyway, they are in the car now and they're on their way to the couple's retreat. And Brandon is like, I'm not, you know, I'd rather just go to sleep because I don't want to talk to this girl. She lucky I'm even here because at this point, I don't even want to do this. And now as, as they're driving, you know, Taylor's trying to have a conversation with him and he's just like ignoring her basically. And he's like, uh, I'm going to sleep, put his headphones in. And she's irritated. She's irritated because this is not the way she thought the ride should go and i'm sitting here like what did you think the ride was going to be like taylor you stayed out all night at a hotel with who god knows who and you thought the man was going to be like ha, ha, how was your night honey did you have fun everything was great no why would you what did you think this ride was going to be like because in my mind, I thought y'all was about to have it out in the car, but y'all didn't do that because Brandon just kept it calm, cool, and collected, okay? He sat there on the side and was like, I'm not doing this with this girl. I'm not giving them, the, you know, I'm not giving this the drama for this episode. I'm not doing it. But eventually he does, and we're going to get there because I'm ready for it too. I'm ready for it. I'm just still stuck on Taylor, okay? I'm done with her. I'm done with her. And I cannot stress how much I am done with her bag wig having self she's self-centered and she doesn't see anything wrong with anything she does because she's sitting there like if he has a problem then he should just say it what you shouldn't have did it for him to have a problem to say it. she makes me mad she makes me very mad Whew. okay so y'all, when they get to the house, <laughs> Brandon opens the door and he goes inside and he basically like just leaves Taylor struggling with her suitcase. I thought it was hilarious because she needs to struggle with that suitcase, okay? She doesn't need, I wouldn't even held the door for her, but he's a gentleman. I'm going to say Brandon is a gentleman, okay? He held the door for Taylor. I guess. And she just, you know, struggled to get that suitcase in there. And I thought it was hilarious. And I was like, I'm going to mention it. I'm going to mention it. I don't care how small the detail is. It made her look stupid. And I was happy. <laughs> Sorry. Call me biased. Call me whatever. She works my freaking nerves. Okay? But anyway... Taylor and Katie and Jess are out on the, you know, patio talking. Now, I know I passed some scenes, y'all, but I don't have time for that because I got some stuff I want to get to. While they're sitting out on this patio talking, you know, they're like, what's up with Brandon? And Taylor is just like, I don't know what's up with Brandon. Girl. Chick. You know what's wrong with Brandon. Don't sit here and act like you don't know what's wrong with Brandon. Brandon's mad because you stayed the night out at a hotel with God knows who. Everybody knows what's wrong with Brandon except for you. And you're the person who did it. How? 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 She's telling him all the she's telling them all these things about Brandon and how, you know, I just want him to try and blah 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 blah. Never once did she bring up what she did. Never once did she talk about how she was out, you know, all night with her friends and then she went to a hotel party and then she fell asleep and never came home the next night that night. Like, girl, take a seat. Take a seat. But anyway, in this conversation, Katie wants to bring up how 
Derek doesn't initiate, okay? Anything, okay? And um, Jess is like, what, like, initiate sex? And she's like, he doesn't initiate anything. Not sex, anything. Nothing, nothing. G, he doesn't initiate anything. She wanted to be clear that it's nothing he initiates, okay? And I'm sitting here like, what is wrong with this girl? Because the red, uh, the, um... Derek, I see, okay, the one who's setting up the rose petals and getting the family pictures and doing all the sipping wine and all, you know, paint and sip projects and the Derek that's running your bath water and you, all this stuff, the Derek that's trying is the Derek that doesn't initiate anything. Does it make sense? Make it make sense? It does not make sense. Somebody need to sit that girl down and tell her her shit stink because she obviously thinks it doesn't. Okay, so now we're in a car ride on the way to the couple's retreat with Mika and Michael, okay? And Mika is trying to have a conversation with Michael, but Michael is not for the conversation, okay? Mika is like, you know, so what do you want to get out of this trip? How do you think we are doing? What's going on? I think we're, you know, like she's just trying. She's pulling for, you know, conversation. And you, Michael is over there like, yeah. I, I, you know, I just want to, you know, hang out with the guys and play some, um, watch some football. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> it was funny because he literally was just like not here for anything she had to talk about. Everything was a one word answer from Michael to Mika, even though Mika was having whole conversations by herself. All right. So now Mika and Michael get in the house and I'm just sitting here like this. Is gonna be awkward, all right? And Katie starts rubbing Mika's shoulder. She's like, We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. Because she can tell that Mika's annoyed. I can tell Mika's annoyed. Everybody can tell Mika's annoyed. You can't, Mika can't hide being annoyed on her face if she wanted to, okay? We know those Mika faces, the ones with no expression but have all the expression. And she is, Katie's just like, We're gonna have fun. We're going to have fun. And I was like, ooh, child. <laughs> You're going to have fun? You sure? You sure? Okay. Okay. So the whole time, you know, Derek goes and she, he makes them some drinks or whatever. And they're all like, you know, socializing in the kitchen. And Brandon and Michael are outside, you know, chopping it up, talking, kicking back, you know, doing what guys do. And, you know, Brandon is just like... I, you, telling um, Mike what happened between them um, the night before, like with her not coming home and staying out. And Brandon is just like, I, I can't do this. So Mike does ask Brandon, he says, if you were to make a decision tomorrow, what would your decision be? And for some reason, Brandon didn't just come out and say no. I don't know why he just didn't come out and say no. He should have just came out and say no, but he didn't, okay? He's just like, you know... I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. I just want her to be more present, okay? I want her to take responsibility, basically. This is what he's trying to get at. And I'm just like, just say, just say no. You don't want to stay with the girl. She's crazy. She's self-centered. She's an attention whore. She's a social media whore. She's a man-searching whore, okay? She's a single freaking whore. Just say it. Matter of fact, I said it. Good enough. But anyway... So now they're all sitting in the kitchen and they're ready to eat their dinner, okay? So now it's like, let's take shots, let's take shots, everybody take shots, 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 shots. Brandon and Mike come in and they're like, huh? Mike's like, I'll take a shot. And Brandon's like, I don't want to drink, you know, I'm sorry if I have to kill it, you know, I don't want to do that. I just want to, you know, give me a beer or something. I got to work in the morning. I'm sorry if I'm a bus kill, but I got to go to work in the morning. We know Brandon has to go to work in the morning, so why are we still trying to make this man drink? But whatever. They all take their shots or whatever. And now everybody's loose, okay? Everybody's feeling themselves. Michael decides he's leaving and so does Brandon, okay? They get up and they leave. And they leave everybody else at the table by themselves. And you know what, guys? The whole time I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, something seems strange. And you know what it was? Mindy and Zach was not in this episode. Does that mean that they're not getting back together? Does that, does that mean that this is officially over? Can I celebrate again? Okay. I won't. We did that enough. Or maybe not. Yay, Mindy. Okay, anyway, let's let's move on. Okay, let's move on. But anyway, 
Eric asks Taylor how she's doing. You know, he's over there drunk and he's like, how you doing? How you doing? You know, playing with Taylor and kind of like flirting just a little bit. But it's innocent, y'all. It's not like he's trying to get in her drawers and nothing like that. It's mad innocent. So I don't understand why Katie then decides that she's going to have a blow up, okay? Somewhere along the lines, Austin, um, Jessica talks about her telling Austin that she loves him, okay? And Austin says it's not that he doesn't feel it. He's just not ready to say it, okay? And then Derek says something like, I like you to Katie. And Katie just can't handle the I like, okay? She doesn't want the I like. She wants Derek to be like, I love you. I love you. I love you, Katie. You the only girl in the whole wide world for me. I don't want nothing about else but you like everything the sun the moon everything sets and rises on you katie it's all about you katie and he didn't do that so katie catches the attitude and she runs out okay and when she runs out mika jessica and taylor run after her because now they're just trying to figure out like what is going on like why are you upset i'm sorry if i made you you know feel uncomfortable or mad or sad because jessica feels like because she says she loves austin and everyone else isn't in love that now she didn't ruin the whole thing okay jessica doesn't understand so katie is mad because he didn't come find her he didn't come run after her because you know that's what she wanted that was the purpose of the scene this scene was meant for him to chase after her so she can blow up on him but anyway that doesn't happen she's sitting into the girls and expressing how he doesn't do anything and he doesn't do anything and he doesn't do anything the girls is like but he's a good guy he's a good guy and he's teachable he's teachable and i'm sitting here like what planet do these girls live on for them to think that he needs to be taught anything? Derek may be one of the best guys on the show, okay? He's not timid. He's not as timid as Austin, okay? He doesn't really let Katie walk over him, although he does. But he also puts his foot down, okay? He is not, like, forcing anything. He's being his genuine self, okay? Whether Katie likes it or not, he's trying his best to be authentic for her. And she can't handle that, okay? She wants him to argue with her. She wants to fight and fuck. And Derek's not, not here for her, okay? He's just like, I'm tired of fighting with this girl. Why we got to fight to have, you know, like, come on. Can we just be happy? But anyway... Mika is sad for Katie, okay? Because she doesn't want him to give up on Derek because she hasn't given up on Michael. <laughs> Y'all, I was like, wait. What? Oh, Lord. So you got Mika out here feeling sad for somebody, feeling sad for somebody because she, she don't want her to give up on Derek because she hasn't given up on Michael. Oh, my God. Okay, not the same situation, Mika. Just letting you know it's not the same situation. You definitely should probably give up on Michael. Sorry. But you probably should. But anyway, <laughs> y'all, it just, just, I don't get it, okay? Oh, God. Michael and Brandon were sitting outside on the um, thing, uh, um, outside in the patio, I guess, talking. Michael brought up the fact that Mika wasn't more confident to him when she found out that his uncle died, okay? He wanted to feel emotional support from Mika, and Mika didn't give him that. And he's just like, I'm tired of this, this bitter girl. Like, everything is so hard with her. Like, I wanted some comfort. I broke down crying and she just basically looked at me. And I saw the whole scene in my head happen. Like, and I'm just like, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. And it's like, no matter, even if he is a liar or whatever, if you care about this man the way you claim you do, if you want this to work out because you're not giving up this way you claim you do, why can't you open your arms to this man just a little bit? Will it kill you to put your arms around him and hold him and console him in his time of bereavement? No, it's not gonna kill you, Mika. I'm just letting you know that. For future references, Comforting someone is free, okay? You don't have to be deep in love with someone to comfort someone and sympathize with them. That's all he wanted. That's all he wanted. And I was just like, yeah, I can, like, I'm starting to see both sides of this story. You know, I'm understanding Michael a little bit more, but I'm also understanding Mika. I feel like if Mika could just give Michael some soft comfort, something to make him feel safe, something to make him feel warm, that he may actually, you know, 
turned out to be all right. But it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it's not going to excuse the fact that he's a liar. We're not going to do that. But it might help him just a little bit be more comfortable with who he is to be truthful. Because, you know, that's his problem. He's not comfortable with who he is. But anyway, I'm just sitting here and the whole thing, y'all, the whole thing is a mess. I'm just like, I don't know what is going on in this house. I don't know why all these couples are like having, I've never watched a Married at First Sight couples retreat with this much drama, okay? Usually we be playing games and we having breakthroughs and we falling in love and we figuring out why we are meant to be together. And that's not happening nowhere, nowhere on this retreat. I'm just saying, okay? Somewhere along the lines where they're at the table, Taylor is telling the guys, if you talk to Brandon, just let him know I'm trying, okay? Just let him know I'm trying. And I'm just like, girl, you're not trying. You're not trying. Cut the BS, okay? We see through you. We see through you, okay? Like, girl, give it a rest. Give it a rest. But anyway... We get over to Katie storming out again, y'all. I don't know what happened for Katie to storm off again, but she does. And I'm just like, if this girl storms off one more time, I'm going to have a heart attack. It's going to happen to me tonight, okay? But no. Derek this time decides he's going to go run after her, okay? He runs after her and he's like, you know, Katie, what's wrong? What's wrong? Um, do you think I was flirting with Taylor? And she's like, the fact that she would even say that, it shows that that's what was happening. And he's like, I wasn't. I wasn't. She's like, are you going to let me effing talk? And I'm just like, if she drop one more curse word at this man, okay? Like, she's always cursing at Derek. Shut the F up. Let me, like, girl, all the time, all the time, Lord, help me, help Derek, help somebody, anybody, help Katie, help Katie. And Derek's like, you know, okay, what's going on? And she's like, you don't take the initiative. You don't take the initiative. And she, he's like, You've been on your period for the last five or six days. And she's like, married people have sex on their period. And he's like, I'm not going to initiate sex while you're on your period. The whole time I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Now, to each his own, okay? To each his own. That's all I'm going to say about that topic to each his own. But if the man doesn't want to have sex with you while you're on your period, you cannot be mad at him. Okay? I don't understand why are you mad. Why are you mad? If you guys are into that thing, then that's perfectly fine. If he, you are into that thing, that's perfectly fine. If he was into that thing, that's perfectly fine. But he's not. Okay? It's not perfectly fine. At that point, I felt like she got embarrassed. Okay? She was a little bit embarrassed. She cuts him off and she starts yelling. And once again, she storms out. If the girl storm out again, y'all, like I said, I might have a heart attack. She's outside on the porch and he comes out and he's apologizing. He's apologizing. And she's just like, like, you know, I don't understand how you can be like this with everyone else. And I don't get to see this side of you. And I don't da 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 and da 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 da. And I'm just like, shut up. Shut up. Derek is mad, okay? He's like, because I'm being myself when I'm around other people. I can't be myself when I'm around you. Because whenever I do anything, it's a problem. Every time this man tries to have a little bit of fun, even when he had fun in the past, she got mad at him having fun in the past, okay? She can't take Derek being happy. I don't know why. I don't get it. I don't understand how you can be mad at someone for having fun in their past and in their present. <laughs> like, this girl... Drives me insane. The women on the show this season is crazy, okay? They're crazy. They're some crazy girls, okay? They're crazy. But anyway, he's apologizing and they're talking. And Katie decides that, you know what? It's time for bed. She's going to go get in bed and she doesn't want to have anything. She doesn't want to talk to him. He's apologizing to her and she just doesn't want to talk to him, okay? Cut over Mika and Michael. Mika is telling Michael, hey, listen. I think we should sleep in separate beds. We're not on the same page right now. I don't think it's good for us to sleep in the same beds. Good thing there's six rooms and five couples because now he has a room to sleep in, okay? He goes into another room. She goes to another room and they sleep separate. All the while, Taylor decides she's going to go outside and, you know, sit on Brandon's lap. 
<laughs> and wrap her arms around him and be like, huh, what you doing? What you doing? And Brandon is like, trying to figure out like, why is this girl sitting on my lap? Like, we not, we... We not cool like that. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> get it together. He brings up something about, you know, her being at a party that, you know, his beer company is involved in and, you know, her liking the picture or something like that. I couldn't really hear the conversation because then it turned into a big argument. And the argument was, you know, Taylor, once again, trying to bring at, blame everything on Brandon. And Brandon's just sitting there calm. And he's just like, yeah, no, I'm mad because you were out with at a hotel party with, you know, God knows who. And she's like, I told you, I was only there because you had to go to work. And I wanted to spend time with you. And since you had to go to work, I just went out with my friends. I just went out with my friends. Deflecting what he's trying to get at, okay? Trying to make it about him. The reason she stayed the night out is because he had to go to work y'all the argument blew up okay the argument was a big thing okay when the producer um he's like i'm done with this you can take this mic off me the producer tells him don't take it off he's like and what you gonna do about it what you gonna do about it okay he goes in there he's taking off that mic slowly and i was like "Ooh, it got intense okay i thought he was gonna swing and he was taking it off and i felt good i don't know why he made me feel good but i think it's because i was satisfied with the fact that he just was like i'm done with this chick okay y'all not about to sit here and keep making me look crazy okay as he took that mic off and handed it to them and they like well I think you need to go. He's like, I'm not going nowhere, okay? I'm going to stick around and be an asshole just because I can. I'm going to, you know, he's just going off. He goes in the room to Taylor, and he's just like, you know, getting his stuff together, packing it up. And Taylor's like, wait, let's, let's just talk. Let's just talk. He's like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. And I was like, ooh, I don't know why I like this blow up. I don't know why I like this blow up, but I do. Am I the only one that enjoyed it? Okay, maybe I enjoyed it too much. But I did, okay? He, they go into the bathroom, and she's like, are you Mike? Are you Mike? Taylor, girl, stop, okay? The man don't want to be bothered, but she wants to make it look like she's fighting for her husband, okay? They go into this bathroom. I guess at this point, I'm hearing noises, so I'm like, I hope they're not fighting in this bathroom, okay? Because it's what it sounds like for a minute. And I think Brandon got a clue to himself and was like, let me turn my camera on before this goes somewhere else, okay? Because he was like, I'm not about to sit here and, you know, be in his room with this girl and all these noises is happening and y'all thinking that I'm in here hitting her because that's what I thought was happening. So I'm glad he turned that camera on, <laughs> okay? When he turned the camera on, you see them talking. Well, you see her talking to Brandon about how, you know, he needs to, like, you know, stay and they need to, like, talk and they need to, like, fix it and they need to, like, work it out. And he's just like, no, I'm not here for it, okay? He's not beat for the BS, y'all. And I'm just sitting here the whole time like, I don't know why this blow up from Brandon made me feel happy. I don't know if I should because I know like to some extent it was wrong, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> y'all, I'm like, this is crazy. I don't know what is going on in this whole situation, but it is what it is at this at this point, okay? <sighs> the next morning, they decide that they're about to, you know, um, they're making breakfast or whatever. And might I add that Mika's is eating this breakfast that they're talking, that they're making, okay? Because when Brandon and Mike was outside getting ready to go in that car to go where they were going, Mika is like, they know we eating. They know we eating, eating her breakfast. I thought you ain't like breakfast, Mika. I thought you said you can't do breakfast, Mika. But you over there tearing up that breakfast, Mika. Make it make sense, Mika. <laughs> it's not breakfast she don't like. It's Michael she don't like. We made that. We got that. She made it very clear that it wasn't the breakfast the whole time. <laughs> Y'all, Michael and Brandon are getting ready to go to, you know, I guess to D.C. because, um... 
Mike has to do funeral arrangements and get flowers for his uncle's funeral. And Brandon is just ready to go. Because, he, you know, he got to go to work anyway. And I don't think he's coming back. Nobody thinks he's coming back. Production is at the car door. And they're telling Brandon, like, you need to come out. You need to um unlock the door. And Brandon's like, no, because y'all trying to set me up. Y'all going to make it seem you're going to break her out. And I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to have nothing to do with her. And he's like, well, he's telling Mike, well, like, at this point, that he got two options. Either he unlocks the door and, you know, get out. Or he's going to have have to find another ride and brandon at this point is just like well i'll get out and i'm gonna walk they're not about to set me up and he gets out and he's walking okay and i'm just like he is done brandon has had it up to here with married at first sight all together okay everybody to do with everybody everybody it don't even matter who you are okay the camera guy the light guy the mic guy everybody <laughs> Taylor, everybody, okay, Katie, everybody, he's done with everybody, and I'm just like, poor Brandon, I don't know why I felt like, I felt bad for him a little bit, okay, I did, because they tried to make it seem like something it wasn't, because I, I got the full concept of what was happening, I definitely did, Jessica and Austin relationship is so cute, okay, even though they bother me, <laughs> they it was really cute okay they go to this rainbow lake inside like these caves or whatever and it's beautiful and they're like throwing in pennies and making wishes and jessica's wishes that austin would say he loves her and i'm just like oh my god what love story is this okay what love story book did this come out that we are watching on tv okay i don't know but it was super cute okay so then we get over to katie and Derek, and Derek stills golf cart keys okay Derek wants to prove to katie that he can be a bad guy and katie's like oh hell yeah let's go <laughs> yo they get on my nerve okay but when katie and Derek are good they're good i really like when they're good i just need katie to stop being a child okay stop making everything a big deal that isn't a big deal they go into this golf cart and they're like you know driving well katie's driving and he's pulls over gets her some flowers and he gives her flowers and then they get paddle um, paddle boats and they're you know paddle boating and they're just like everything okay i don't know when they're good oh my god katie and Derek are so good but when they're bad oh my god katie is bad because <laughs> it's never really Derek. it's always katie i just wish that they can just stay like that. I know couples argue, so I know it's not going to be perfect. But some of the stuff they argue about, I think, can be avoided. Like, I really do. Okay, so I guess while um they were out, you know, Taylor and Mika decided since both of their husbands are gone at this point, that they just going to go, you know, um to do the paranormal activity together. So they're in a car and they're driving and they're talking about, you know, Brandon and Mike or whatever. And Taylor is like, oh, he, um, my, um, Brandon texts me saying that have fun. Um, he's not coming back. Have fun on his retreat. Cause he's not coming on your retreat. Cause he's not coming back. Something along the lines of that. And Taylor was like, little do he know, I am. I always have fun when I'm not with him. I always have fun when it's just me and somebody else. I always have fun when I'm not with him. And I'm just sitting here like, exactly, that's the problem. Everything you do with him, you make something that is not. Why Why are you like, oh, I always have fun. But then she had a confessional talking about something. I just really wish he would have came because it is a couple's retreat and, you know, I would like to be with my husband. Girl, make up your mind. You're going to have fun with him. You're not going to have fun with him. You want him there. You don't want him there. He don't want to be there with you. So you might as well just accept the fact that you and me could go on, on this date. I, don't, I just don't like her. Her whole attitude, her energy, everything about her gives me bad vibes gives me bad vibes but anyway while brand um while taylor is saying all of this mika's just like mm -hmm, i'm gonna text michael <laughs> i was like that's right text your man girl whether you like him or not <laughs> so she's just telling him and you know she's texting him and michael tells her you know like it's late um a lot of traffic happens something something he'll be back in time for dinner whatever cool right so i'm just sitting here like this has got to be crazy now when they go do this activity they like talking to like spirits and the y'all we don't do that we don't do that i don't know what that was about but they enjoyed it okay they enjoyed it and if they enjoyed it i loved it i was but it was just like 
I didn't see the point. If she would have brought Michael on that day, Michael would have been like, I'm not doing this. I don't want to do this. It's like the, I don't think she would have. I don't think she thought it through clearly to actually have Mike for that date for Michael. I'm glad it was Taylor because I think if Michael would have came, she wouldn't have enjoyed herself because Michael would not have been here for that activity. Period. I'm just saying that's my thought. That's how I feel. I really don't think he would have enjoyed it. I don't think he would have even wanted to participate in that. But we will never know, will we? No, we won't. Okay, y'all. So um they get back to the house and michael comes back and then you know michael's like oh you made it back you made it back obviously brandon doesn't come back with michael so while they sitting at the table it just got really strange it just got really awkward they just start poking at um michael like um so did you get the flowers arrangements did you do this did you spend time with your family did you like why are you so late they and then jess is pushing at him too and taylor started it y'all taylor started it and what made me so mad is that they was poking at this man knowing michael's a liar knowing he was going lie knowing whatever he did was not what he went to go do okay <laughs> like we know that but the fact that they was beating him down and like, I was like, what is this about? Like, what are we doing? Why are we double? All oh, why are we triple teaming this man at this moment? And then when Michael got up and walked away, Taylor had this smirk on his on her face, like she was happy that now that Brandon wasn't there, Mika's man is gone. Like it's like she sabotaged that whole thing because I don't think it had to be that big of a deal. Yes, we know he probably was lying. Yes, we know Mika probably was gonna call him out on it on another time or a little bit later. But that was not the time or the place for Brand for Taylor to start that. She pissed me off this episode. I've been wanting to drag this girl since the last time I dragged this girl, okay? But you know what? I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be collected, okay? Because, do 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 y'all know? This is the next morning from the last night that I started recording this, okay? And I got to go to work. So I'm not dealing with the foolishness. Not today. Not today. <sighs> y'all, that smirk on her face really had me. It had me. But, you know what? I'm just ready for next week because I'm over it. And I'm excited to see what you guys got to say in the comments. Last week, we had a 300, over 300 comment read video. And I broke it down into three parts because that's the way it was filmed. So if you didn't go watch all three parts, go watch all three parts, okay? Um, I really enjoyed talking to you guys. So if we, um, uh, so let me know in the comments, was I too nice? Uh, was I too happy about brandon okay should i have been that happy or am i like you know pushing it okay because we know he was wrong but i don't know i was happy let me know you know what you feel about taylor do you think she started that argument at the end of the night and put that smirk on her face did you, was i the only one that noticed that like y'all give me some feedback in these comments because i got a feeling i comment read is gonna come to an end soon because the season is coming to an end soon so let's end with a bang okay um i really appreciate you guys thanks for watching let me know if y'all agree or disagree with me on this um on this review i I know i said interview in the beginning y'all don't mind me i was tired i was tired but let me know if y'all agree or disagree with me on this because i feel like we got a lot of conflict going on here all right but anyway you guys peace out enjoy your day